I remember I actually taught this lesson, and this girl, um, she said, wouldn't the bones sink farther down as the years went by, making it harder to recover the fossils? And that ended up being, you know, just something that would have been a passing thought in her head if she hadn't written it down and would never have risen to the level of the classroom being able to discuss it or, or anything where someone could learn from it. But as, because she took the time to write it down and because it was surfaced and, you know, was available for all of us to talk about, this became a really rich, um, you know, discussion point and it allowed, um, it allowed all of us to sort of understand what was happening with the sedimentation and what was happening to be, for something to become a fossil. And it was revealed to me that the kids didn't actually even know what fossilization was. And so it ended up being this really great place where it took us a little bit off into a tangent from what we were talking about, but it ended up uncovering a bunch of misconceptions that we were able to, to you know, fix and move on and it helped the kids understand the content better. So to me, one of the most powerful reasons to do this annotation is that these misconceptions or alternate conceptions that kids have can be surfaced in these really amazing ways, um, things you could never guess they were thinking, things you could never have known that they were actually, you know, was getting in the way of understanding content, and now you have a window into that, into each kid and, and collectively into the group's um, understandings or misunderstandings. And so I think that's really an important reason to, to do this kind of work. And, and it allows for further and further inquiry the more you get into what the kids know and what they wonder about. And then here's an example of what we, I think we had agreed as a class that this, in this case, this was when they were doing it on paper, that the star would mean you were sharing, you shared that one with the partner. So you also asked the students to sort of record um, whatever questions they actually dealt with with their partner. They recorded it somehow and so this young woman, no, this is actually, I think it was, anyway, it doesn't matter. <laughs> she, uh, this person um, did use the star and what you're supposed to also do is note if the answer was actually, do you feel like you and your partner came to a resolution on a question or do you want to share this question with the bigger class? And so, um, yeah, so this is what, this is just a technique that this young woman or man, girl, <laughs> boy did. and. Um, I think we also, you know, you can have, you have Google Docs or other things you can share um, questions that way or, you know, and then the teacher can kind of go through and find whichever answer, the question she wants to have answered by the class or you can just ask kids to raise their hand and share. But basically it goes from the partner sharing, they sort of vet and decide which ones they think would be really fun or interesting for the class to talk about and then you have a time for the class to actually do some discussing. <laughs>